All right, we have started the recording. So this is a Q&A session for the market direction topic. And right now we are seeing the live market for a possible trade setup if it happens. But since we don't have much time left, so I don't think we'll be initiating any kind of trade today anymore. So yeah, we have multiple layer of support over here, even though it looks like a higher lows, uh, but it's uh, pretty volatile here. So you don't need to be worried about that. More better level is actually around here since we have better order flows in here. You know, so that's what it is, breakout, pullback. You can look for something. If not today, maybe tomorrow, this layer. And so far we don't have anything to stop till we reach this support here, right? So 78 and 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, right? 40, 40 points, 40 points of play we have. All right, anyhow, uh, uh, even if there is a trade, I won't be initiating the best trade because just a five more minutes. So it doesn't make sense. This as well, you know, somehow will work as a support layer for you. And in that case, you'll have to consider this one as well. Support layer in the sense. You know, with this, uh, this swing, yeah. So we can say trades are in both the sides. We have good range at the same time in both the sides. You can see that. Anyhow, the order flows are in here, so um, try to consider this layer. I mean, let the price go moves above this, preferably for a for a buying trade, obviously. Okay, let's start today's topic. Okay, so. We have this one. We don't have much people today. Let share with Flash by the way. Yes, ready for months. So some people have sent me chart just by drawing the lines. I don't want to see the lines drawn on the chart. I want to see uh, I, I want to see the trend basically. So if you're drawing a line from here to here, you just let me know what the trend is. Not the lines. This is not the first topic we are doing where we are just drawing the lines on the chart. So here you'll have to show me that uh, what the trend is going on or if there is an uptrend or there is a downtrend or there is a flat market all right like here from from here to here from here to here we have what we have lower lower highs so you'll have to say this is a 
this is a downtrend since we have lower lower highs from here to here and then we move up then it falls to the same place from where we left from where we went up previously so we don't have a low 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 high momentum here and we move up from where we have fallen yeah from there again we come down so what are this again we move up again we come down to the same layer where the price was falling so overall this was a flat market structure all right and again from here we move up, we go up to the same layer so so far we are still in the flat market structure all right and then the price goes above the flat market structure and then we start making i mean the price moved up from here all right but before then before that event we already started moving up with higher high and higher lows so somehow that was a continuation so now this is an uptrend moving on uptrend and we go up we stop from where we went up and then we move up and then we break down so the up move the uptrend continue till here till the time the higher lows were maintained the higher highs were maintained and here the higher low is broken and it looks like we are making what lower low and lower highs right and that was the moment when the, the shift was just taking place from higher high higher lows to lower low lower high we again start moving up so these are insiders okay so you move up till here then here then here then again we fall back so the uptrend was from here to higher high high lows higher high lows and now the uptrend is in question you know the it, the price is challenging the uptrend because we just fallen from where we went up the same same layer so you don't know now it's uh, it's it's going to continue the uptrend anymore or it's again going to be a flat market structure since we again price come back down on the same layer so so far it's a flat market structure again building up here so sometimes we we'll be doing for low low lower high and then we'll go for high 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 low and on the process of higher high high low for sometimes we'll be moving with with the flat market structure and then again maybe we can continue and again maybe we can go for flat market structure so the flat market structure is a part of the uptrend so in that case the flat market structure should be treated uh, should be traded with the with the bullish momentum with the bias of the bulls the bias of the you know uh, what should I, should i say with the bias of the positivity you can say yeah and when the opposite happens like lower low, lower high and we have flat market condition so this flat market is a part of this uh, lower low, lower high or downtrend so this should be traded with a negative uh, mindset in, in the sense the selling trades should be uh, more in focus in this flat market and most of the case scenarios uh, once the price starts creating this flat market structure after a trend generally the price either continued continue after the uh, after a break of this after a break of this you know flat market structure or it uh, reverses towards upside so any of these conditions can happen right after a uh, right after a trend if you see this kind of flat flat market structure so uh, this is how you're supposed to draw on the chart and send it to me anyhow then this one is a clear downtrend coming down up down up then down up then down and then down so what do you are making low low lower highs so here this was a minor swing basically so you can ignore that so the price comes back up and 
fallen down. So it tested the previous lower high and fallen down. It goes up, tested the previous lower high again, you see, fallen down. So generally, uh, I mean, somehow here, you, you'll see a, uh, some kind of formations of the flattish structure, even though it's not uh, tick to tick. Uh, but overall, the, apply, the price of the, I mean, the price was much bullish in the, the price was much bearish in here. And then this trend a bit bended in here. The slope a bit bended in here. No, this was not, this sell off was not as sharp as this sell off, which shows the, which shows that the sellers are really getting a bit, you know, a bit slower and slower gradually. And then you see a flattish kind of a structure over here. So somehow, you know, zoop, then zoop, then zoop. So I don't know where is it is going. <laughs> so, uh, but this, this slopes indicates you something that the selling pressure is reducing gradually in terms of order flows. Okay. Then this one. No, oh, have we finished all the all in the back? This one. This one we didn't finish. Let me talk on this. So these are the patterns we'll be doing in the advanced course where I'll tell you about the price coming back down, lower, lower, lower highs, and then it goes back up. And the last lower high in terms of lower, lower, lower high, the downtrend, when the price test the previous lower high, uh, that's, a, that's a good level to look for your sales signals because uh, this, based on this uh, structure, lower, lower, lower high, where the structure will be broken, that's important. And the structure gets broken when the last lower high is uh, broken. So this is the last defense line for the sellers. And uh, that's the reason the real fight is going on in this layer. If this is protected, the pattern is pro protected. All right. So that was the scene, what you have seen in the last chart, where it was falling, testing the last lower high. And the opposite is true for the buying as well. Now, what's happening in here? Overall, this looks like a flat structure because the rise and the fall on the same layer, a bit uh, here and there, but finally it turned up from there, isn't it? So overall, a flattish structure, but in this overall flattish structure, you, you can define some more trends as well. So these are some, these are called short-term and long-term views. Again, in this sell-off, this part I will be doing, we'll be doing later on this part. Uh, in different, um, different, you know, uh, multi-time frame analysis in there, we'll be, we'll be doing this thing that in one hour you see uh, overall flat market structure, but uh, in that, inside that, you have the, you have what, you have different trends, like the, what the same, uh, and the same thing happened today with us in Nifty, isn't it? In Nifty, let's go to hourly time frame. What do you see here? You see here, uh, price goes back up, coming down, going up, coming down, going up. So you just see how many candles, one, two, three, four candles going, going down and three candles up, one candle down like that. So you don't see as such higher, high, high lows or low, 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 high kind of thing. And the same thing is here. What do we have? We just have zoop, zoop, single, single candle. Even this is much squeezing than this one. Right, but overall, you can see what's happening. A green candle, black candle, two green candle, one black candle. So everything is happening inside. All right, but when you go to five minute or let's say three minute time frames, you'll be seeing a lot of things, a lot of swings, right? So look at this, these higher, higher, high, high, low swings, you see happening. So this is the same boundary you see in the hourly time frame. And then this one, you see. And then when the price is falling, you see the lower, lower, lower high. Yeah, so it's very important to analyze this market to the multi-time frame view in line with the overall time frame. So this is another range that I was talking before this one. So this was the range. And look at this trend in it. Look at this volatile trend in it. This is not much volatile. This is a uh, volatile trend. 
this was not volatile this was there was no trend as such zoop 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 only uh, but here we have trend go up down up down even if you go back, go down to one minute time frames the trend the swing should be more clear in there okay so one two three and then coming back down so this is the flat market structure we have and then again this is a long uh, th this is a bigger flat market structure and this is a smaller flat market structure so why this is important to know once you know that the flat market structure is moving on know, yeah so like this 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 then you're supposed to play these ranges and you're not supposed to look for some trend kind of momentums and all as well as you're supposed to play these ranges like selling here buying here selling here buying here and look for some breakout trades above this like here look for some breakout trades if the if it breaks out above the level so this is how you're supposed to report me that here we have a flat market structure here we have a bigger flat market structure we don't have any trend at all and then here the once it breaks out and goes above then yeah we are building up something and you can see the formations in its back as well i had the formations in there mm, any queries anyone please post in here in the telegram this we are we have already done right flat market then uptrend then this also you have done downtrend so this is what i was talking about it's coming back down falling and falling back again from the last or high and what else this is anyhow flattish structure in, in it see in this even in this low low lower high formations we have a lot of flattish structure in it you know somehow some day, sometimes price doesn't give you a much pullback like this price just come down move flat and zoom down come down move flat zoom down this shows uh, uh, the strength of the sellers when the strength of the sellers are most, uh, very much intensive intense in the market then these kind of situations happen so price comes down it's so weak the sellers are so powerful and the buyers are so weak that they don't have the strength to give a pushback even just move just moved in a range and then the next sell off yeah but here we see some kind of a strength again price come back down again a flattish structure again sell off but here we see some kind of a strength of the price but till the time the structure is not breaking down we are not going ahead with it so the same pattern is repeated here here again here isn't it so these are the things i want you to see in the market on the chart with the concept of and uh, you know th this is the reason i was telling when i was explaining this topic to you i was telling you that only the low low lower high doesn't not necessarily the low low lower high will be showing you or downtrend or a higher high higher low will be showing you an option all the time that's that's not the only thing to define an option or the downtrend even this this pattern what you, you are seeing here this is more powerful than the that one you know so it's all about reading the order flows reading the right uh, price action context on the chart now <clears throat> so here we see a pushback again by the buyers but you see every time the buyers are actually raising their head uh, that's just one or two candles and then again it's so it shows what it shows it shows more strength of the i don't know what happened in reliance afterwards this will be really interesting to see what's the scenario afterwards it doesn't look like it doesn't give you a good sign for buying it shows you the the strength of the sellers so this is one one chart and this is much clear we have clean option 
Now, do you, uh, do you see some differences in here? Like when the price was moving up from here till here, it was not much volatile. It was somehow uh, not giving you a move like this, this. What was the case in here? Volatile moves, you know? And the volatility is, you see, the increase in the volatility. Increase in the volatility. So what does it mean? This mean, mean this means um, this means a lot of things in terms of price action context. We'll be doing this in the advanced course anyway. So let's not talk about these things. <clears throat> Just a basic thing is that uh, the volatility and non-volatility, the difference is that in the market we have buyers and the sellers, right? So when it's a one-way market like this, it is the strength of the buyers alone. The buyers are just pushing the market. Like the in the previous chart, the sellers were just dragging the market down. But when you start getting this kind of bounces in terms of higher highs, higher lows, all right? So it shows what? Who is, who is pu pulling the market down this much? The sellers. So now the, gradually the sellers are entering the market at higher levels. So mm, get ready for a reversal anywhere. So if you see, this is the highest bounce where it comes here, doesn't sustain above this layer, right? Again, press tries to break this layer, again a false breakdown. Again, press going back down. So the price is really stopping now. Yeah, so these are the hints of the reversal and all at the top in terms of price action context. No indicators can give you these things because you can't read the things like this. So overall, this is an uptrend. All right. Now, when you're marking the uptrend, you need to try to notice this, these scenarios. That what is happening in here? What is happening in here? And why it's happening? And before that, what was it? It was uh, more of a flattish, not a plain flattish context, but it's a more of a flattish context overall. You can't give it a direction, right? And then there was a breakdown, breakdown, failure, price coming back down up. Uh, for the new people who are not understanding what is breakdown, that's not an issue, leave it. This for the, for the old guys. For you, for the new people, the important thing is that you need to see, okay, Reliance is a chart to trade right now. Reliance is in here. Now I need to trade in which direction? Since the trend is up, so I need to trade in upward direction, in an, in an uptrend direction. That's what I want to hear from you people, for the new people. Then, I think there's the last one. No. So the trend was down in here. And then a big push back up. Okay. Then overall price coming back down here. Then up, down, up, down, up. A strong sell off suddenly. So the trend, the trend was up in here. The trend is down in here. Then the trend started moving up in here. And then a strong sell off here. Breaking through the last lower high. Sorry, high low here. And we don't have a swing, low, low, lower high formations here as such. But uh, the same chart, if I show you in a one more lower time frame, then you will be seeing low, low, lower high formations in there. All right. So you're supposed to look for sale trade in this sense. The current situation is this. So this, uh, these are the ideas for the day. Uh, I have, I have actually two seminars in the in the Saturday and Sunday, from nine to five. So I'm not much sure about the Sunday uh, Sunday sessions we have. So hopefully the Sunday session we do, uh, uh, these Sunday sessions, I'll be postponed on the on the last Sunday of the month because generally we don't do Sunday session of the uh, last uh, on the last Sunday of the month. So maybe I'll be, uh, if the, I'm not much sure about the seminars, so let me just go to the seminar tomorrow and then I'll see if, the, if I need to attend the seminar on uh, Sunday, then we'll have, to, we'll have to postpone that on uh, last Sunday of the month. That we will do or I'll, I'll, uh, let's see if I can manage one hour 
before I leave for the seminar. It will start by nine o'clock. So if I can manage time from eight to nine, so that way also you can do it. All right, so I'll let you know about the, about the coming Sunday sessions. And the next topic, uh, I'll have to think about the next topic, whether uh, I, I'll go for support and resistance or I want to spend some more time in terms of the trains and thing. So let me just think a bit, what shall I, uh, what shall I give you uh, in terms of the next topic? So even now, I'm not sure much about the next topic, even though um, in terms of the previous price action course uh, criteria, uh, the next topic should be uh, support and resistance or you know the major and minor swings i think major and minor swings will make some sense to go ahead with uh, but still I just, let me let me see if i can spend some more time in terms of understanding the trends yeah so i'll see you guys on the uh, next lesson so tomorrow we don't have a q a session by three o'clock i won't be there so hopefully I'll send you the video, the video lesson I'll be sending you. And if tomorrow you're not doing the Q&A sessions, uh, then on Sunday, if we're doing the Q&A sessions from eight to nine, hopefully most of the, I mean, uh, there are maximum chances that we'll, we'll do the Sunday sessions, not, uh, not on our regular time, that uh, 10 o'clock or 10.30, but before that, around maybe eight or 8.30 like that. So there we'll go through the Q&A sessions as well at the same time. Any, any queries, any of you? No queries. All right, so I leave. Thank you.